Any last words? I'm done talking. Let's play. The battle you've all been waiting to see. The battle of the sexes. Battle of the sexes. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Now, Battle of the Sexes. I was looking forward to this movie uh, for quite some time. I just got back because I am a, a kind of a big fan of the director. Well, actually, I don't want to say a big fan, but he, he, he the, the two directors, dual directors, uh, Jonathan Dayton and Valerie uh, Ferris, they both co-directed this movie and they did a phenomenal job. I'll go ahead and tell you that now. But another movie that they did back in 2006, is a movie my mom introduced me to is Little Miss Sunshine. This stars Steve Carell as well because Steve Carell is in this movie it's just it's just like the perfect cute little movie it, it is it, i don't it is just a, a, about family and you know them just trying to do what they can to please each other and then all the trials and, tri and tribulations that they have to go through but it's freaking hilarious and i don't want to say any more about it but if you just want to watch a cute little movie i do recommend little miss sunshine that came out in 2006 directed by these two valerie ferris and jonathan dayton now, about this movie, this did take place back in 1973. It is the true story of Billie Jean King that went up against uh, Bobby Riggs in a tennis match and whatnot. And if you know the story or not, I don't want to spoil it for you here as far as how it ended, because I didn't know uh, how the story ended when I went in. But I am very glad that I uh, was a part of the story. Like I already said, this movie does star uh steve carell you know him 40 year old version and also another a, a ton of other movies and also uh emma stone i love this woman she is a phenomenal actress of course she did that movie easy a that came out like seven years ago or something like that i love that movie but emma watson's performance in this movie was phenomenal she may get a, a award for this uh come uh, next year during oscar season or whatever because well i mean pretty much everybody did a uh, a great role but emma stone is just really a chameleon and can really just transform herself to perform any role that she wants to i mean i could just go ahead and just name a ton of movies but you probably already know just how good she is and she is what i loved about this movie the most and her performance and just how you know how convicted she was in the role and I really do love that. Steve Carell also knocked the the hell uh, out of his role too, like just knocked it out the park. I mean, I love it's based on a true story, but the character that he was playing, I love the character, but I was also frustrated with the character. And um, you know, towards the end of this movie, because it is based off a true story, they were showing like pictures of the real life people, and Steve Carell looked like the dude's clone. Like seriously, I'm like, whoa! Like they picked the best actor uh, for this role. But what it's about really is. Um, Billie Jean that plays by, that's being played by Emma Stone she is very frustrated of course because uh, you know she's somewhat of a feminist I, well she doesn't she, she's perceived as a feminist but she doesn't describe herself as a feminist she and to, to me feminism just means that hey you know if you're a woman you know hey uh, we don't want more we don't want less you know if we're capable you know we just want to be treated the same we just want equal rights you know women are not just good for the bedroom or in the kitchen you know that that's basically all she's saying you know for the most part and, you know, in this move, in this movie, in this film, in this true story, she's uh, battling with, you know, the men that control everything. You know, of course, it was the same thing today. Of course, it's the same thing in 1970s, 1973. And she finds out that men playing the same sport as her are getting paid much more. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, they should be being paid much more because they're stronger, they're faster, et cetera, things like that. Well, yeah, that may be true in some cases, but she brought up the point that was like, wait a minute, the women's competition sells the exact same amount of tickets as the men's. And so since things are a business and, you know, like she kind of has a valid point and, you know, the, the, the males that are in the leading roles in this movie, and there's a lot of them, they don't want to hear that. You know, they're coming up with all these excuses. So basically she's like, you know, well, hey, if you don't want to treat us fairly, screw you guys. We can create our own league over here and just do it by ourselves. And so the movie is just basically about women empowerment. Now, during this whole thing, Steve Carell jumps into the mix and he's like, hey, let's have a battle of the sexes and, you know, let's have a man versus woman's man. Match, and then that will t finally, you know, tell, you know, who's better, you know, blah, 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 blah. That's just the, ju that's just the premise of the movie. And they do have a match towards the end of the movie, but I won't tell you who won. But what I do like about the movie so much is uh, the character development that they use in this film, because not, I mean, 
they don't just tell a story, but the film really takes a long time and a good long time of going into and showing you the background and the family of each individual character. Like I got to see Steve Carell's family. I got to see Emma Stone's family. I got to see who she was kicking it with at the beauty shop who was on uh, who I got to see some of the backstory in the family, you know, with her other female colleagues and, you know, the sports commentators, you got to kind of see, you know, their uh, perspective as well. And, you know, it like, you know, Steve Carell and Emma Stone are the main characters. But like if, if someone had a girlfriend or a boyfriend on the side or a husband or wife on the side, we got to see them interact as well, too. And you get to see all these perspectives coming all in at one, like what people care about, what they don't care about, what mo- motivates them in today that mold them to make their decisions in front of the camera and on the court. And that's, you know, what I really do find fascinating because this whole movie is just about people, you know, pursuing Pursuing their dreams and going after what they love and just trying to protect what they known and you know what what they've grown up with and right there it, it's just really uh, genuine and just really has a, a human perspective uh, from a point that I think everyone can relate to and you know just kind of kind of shine a light on everything like can shine a light on a lot of things that you know you may have gone through in your life and experienced and it, it just makes for a great film you know because of that. Um, it is funny as well. Um, I, I love uh, the costume design and the makeup. You know, I really did feel like I went back in time and, you know, I was, um, you know, watching, you know, a 70s world. I mean, it, it, it didn't feel like costumes. It, 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 everything from top to bottom, head to toe, you know, was just on point. It was a remarkable film. The acting was great. The story was great. You know, um, there was not a dull moment. There was a number of great montages of, uh, you know, moments that, you know, like when the women first signed, the, you know, paid their dollar and was taking Photoshops and what, like having a Photoshop, a photo shoot, excuse me, of them starting their own league. You know, that was a nice montage. When they were in the beauty support uh, parlor, that was a nice montage. Some of the matches, that was a nice montage. And it didn't get old. It was just a great film with great everything, with great montages. And I loved it and I enjoyed it. And I think you will too. If I have to rate this film out of a 1 out of 10, I would easily give this a 9 out of 10. Yes, a 9 out of 10. But guys, again, that's just my opinion. You know, this movie came out last week in limited releases. So, I mean, have you seen it yet? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide. You can click the bell and be notified when I make uploads. You can go to my website, check me out there because I do have written reviews and you can bookmark it. And also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it even easier for you guys by providing a link down in the description box below. So guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for a battle of the sexes starring Emma Stone, Steve Carell, and directed by Valerie. I forgot her name. It's Jonathan. Oh man, I messed up the ending. Oh well. But Jonathan Dayton and Valerie Ferris. And guys, before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.